How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. If you've played Forza Horizon 5 since launch, you'll know there's been a few issues with the game, a few, a few sort of bugs and stuff like that. However, there's also been quite a few glitches as well. You know me, I love to update you all on all the upcoming updates and content and stuff like that. This video falls into that category. We finally have our first big update, mainly full of fixes and glitches and stuff like that we're going to talk about today. If this video does help you out guys, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Let's get into it. If you go on to Forza Horizon 5, as of now, there should be the update available to you, which will give you these fixes and stuff like that. Now, firstly, we're going to go over the main things that have been fixed. Three serious glitches. The first thing is the Toyota Supra and Willy's Jeep glitch, or not really glitch, sort of exploit. As you can see on screen, when you go to the car mastery section of the Toyota Supra and the Willy's Jeep, you can no longer buy wheel spins there with skill points, which means you can no longer buy a ton of Supra and a ton of Willys Jeeps to get super wheel spins. They have now fixed that. It wasn't really a glitch, just sort of something they didn't really think over. That is no longer possible, that has been patched. The second glitch they have fixed is you can no longer buy the cars you're not supposed to buy through the car collection menu. For example, you could buy the DeLorean, you could buy some of the other unreleased cars as well. You can no longer do that anymore. That's been fixed, as you can see on screen, doesn't let me buy the DeLorean. This was also quite a bad glitch because all of the DeLoreans had quite a good car mastery thing for XP, so you could get tons of XP, tons of money. Pretty bad glitch, but that's been fixed. Now the third one, as noted here, it says added checks to stop an exploit with driving assists. This sounds like they have fixed the AFK racing. You've probably seen that if you turn all of your assists on auto steer, auto brake and just tape your trigger down, you could literally just leave your game playing and it would race for you. You could do 50 laps of any map, sorry, any, any race and it would race for you. It seems like according to this, they have added checks when you have these driving assists on, which probably makes it impossible now to drive AFK. And a few of the other exploits they have fixed, for example, they have removed an exploit that could be achieved when creating challenge cards. They have also removed an exploit when creating specific route configurations in Event Lab. And they've also stopped players being able to download tunes before a race starts. So a few different things are fixed. Those are all the exploits. There's quite a few other things they have fixed as well, which I'm going to go over. They have basically fixed a bunch of crashes, as you can see on screen right now. If you had issues with any of the things listed here, they have fixed them. Personally, I actually had quite a few of these happen to me. So it's very good to see that they've fixed these. There should be less issues with game crashing now. And also, as you can see on screen, they have fixed a bunch of multiplayer related connection issues. If you can't get in the convoy, if it keeps kicking you out, out, there's not enough traffic, just all the glitchiness that's been happening to multiplayer, they seem to have stabilised it a bit and fixed it. Wheel compatibility, if you had any issues with um, a disconnect pop-up that was just making wheels just not work properly, that's been sorted. They've fixed a few DLC related issues, for example they have fixed VIP player houses not being free for some VIPs. They have also fixed that same house not giving the correct Forzathon point multiplier. And they've also fixed the issue that some VIP players weren't receiving super wheel spins. So if you're a VIP and you have a house, you had any of these issues, that's sorted. They have fixed a few reward related issues as well. For example, if you weren't receiving your loyalty reward for Forza Motorsport 5, that's now fixed. Car collection bugs where you're losing your rewards, that's been fixed. And also some rebalanced UGC payouts. They have fixed a few PC settings, such as the uh, the rendering not working properly and the textures being a bit buggy. You can see on screen those have been sorted. And a few other miscellaneous fixes as well, such as the following. Fix an issue where it is possible for the player to fall through the world after completing the trial. Sounds quite fun. Fix an issue where the inputs would stop working on the start screen. The cross-country event difficulties for the driver tires have been sort of balanced a bit to make the, uh, the difficulty spikes a bit less severe, if that makes sense. Event lab notifications coming up in free roam, that's been sorted. Accolade icons, that's been sorted. And the profanity filter not applying correctly on Super 7, that's also been fixed. So in general, they've fixed the main three glitches, they've fixed a bunch of DLC glitches, connection issues, rather than the ones that don't matter as much, such as the accolades. We can wait to have the accolades fixed. We want the glitches fixed and all the bugginess fixed first. But anyway, this update is out right now for Xbox, Steam, and Windows 10. If you wanna get it, get it now. 
Leave a like if you've enjoyed, everyone. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 5 content. I'll see you all later.